I'm with James Timpson, fund manager of the Courtiers Multi Asset Funds, to find out what's been happening in markets throughout December. James, hi. We've had the client seminars. You recapped everything that was going on then. The performance throughout 2023. Specifically, how's December been? How did it end for us? Well, December was a really good month. Um, so markets reacted very positively to comments made by Jerome Powell, the chair of the Federal Reserve, who hinted that not only might this be the end of rate hikes, but also hinted that um, they may start cutting rates um, over the course of this year. So markets reacted very positively to that. Um, so on the day, the Dow Jones Index, one of the oldest equity indices in the US, that actually reached a record high, surpassed 37,000 for the first time ever. But it wasn't just in the US. UK markets have also been really positive. And of course, we also had the latest inflation data from the ONS, which showed um, inflation lower than expected. It's now down to 3.9%, the lowest it's been for over two years. Um, so the FTSE 100 had a really good month. The FTSE 250 and the FTSE small cap indices, which measure medium and small companies, they did really well, actually. The, um, the small cap index had its best month since 2020. So UK stocks have done really well as well. And because markets ended the year on such a high, um, even though we had to present some negative performance at the seminars last month, if you actually take it to the end of the year, all seven of the courtiers funds have actually ended the year positive. Really good news. We entered 2024 on a high. Um, yep. You mentioned at the seminars options and that now is a time that you can begin to look at those again. Can you just recap for us what exactly are options and what benefit do they have? And have you got any interesting ones right now? Yeah, so options are a form of derivative. Um, and what they do is they give you exposure to um, an index such as the FTSE 100. Um, when the index rises, um, your call option will increase in value. But when the index falls, the, put, the option will decrease in value. But the most you can lose as the index goes down is the amount you paid for the option in the first place. If the index continues to go down, say there's a big market downturn, you know, the amount that we can lose by investing via options is limited um, to the amount we paid for it. So investing in options enables us to add a layer of protection into the portfolio. So really excited that we're able to invest in those again. That's great. So if for whatever reason there's a sudden downturn, if you've ended up getting more options into the portfolios, mm. you're actually protecting, while it's up, you're protecting against those downturns so you can maintain a level of uh, return. Downside exactly. Well, so it so limits your downside while also not limiting your upside. Excellent. So, James, all sounds positive. Are there any exciting new stocks you and the team might be looking at? We are looking at um, a few stocks at the moment, yes. Um, you know, every week we run our model. Um, it's called the Quantitative Equity Selection Model. And it um, ranks stocks based on value characteristics such as a dividend yield and price to earnings ratio. So every week we look at that and if we're looking for new stocks in the portfolio then we'll pick one out from the model. An analyst will look at it and um, if it passes both the quants test and the analyst test then um, it can go into the fund. So hopefully over the coming months I'll have lots of new stocks to talk to you about that um, we're hoping will do well for us in 2024. Watch this space. I shan't probe any further. Thanks Leo. James, thanks very much. Until next month. Thank you.